Good morning, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. Coming to you on this muggy Saturday morning. Uh, we are up here at the barn today. We're not gonna do any uh, porch videos or porch projects today. Um, we are actually prepping uh, the barn area uh, for a brand new cow. So we got a milk cow coming that is currently lactating. And uh, Dina's inside reorganizing for right now. We're not gonna set anything up permanently because we don't know what obstacles or, or how it's gonna work best for us. So I'm outside here and I'm gonna just push the little mower around and mow some weeds down to kinda freshen it up a little bit. The mower was giving me problems, but we got that squared away. And uh, so these people should be here probably in about an hour. Um, so we got a lot to do, short amount of time. And then I'll show you the surge milker that we have. And uh, we'll get that thing cleaned up and hopefully everything works on that. Supposedly the, the pump motor needed brushes or whatever. So haven't had a chance to plug it in to actually see what's going on with it, but we'll make something happen quick. Um, we do have a baby calf that we can put on her. So um, that will help us out. But in the meantime, we're just rolling with the punches. So stand by. Well, dang, man. Why do we got to do everything when it's so freaking hot outside at nine o'clock in the morning? But finally got that little piece of shit mower up and running again, drained the carb, must have had some water in it. So we got this area all chopped down. Chickens will be happy, turkeys will be happy. So we're gonna keep the, the new girl penned up. Um, we're gonna run a temporary fence out and give her her own little pasture. But for now, since she's uh, in milk and uh, we do wanna milk her, until we can figure out what works, what doesn't work, um, that's the method we're gonna take on this one. So I'm gonna go take a little break grab the burn barrel, burn some trash that we have in the barn since we're out here already. And uh, yeah, stand by before you know it. Delivery will be, will be here, so. Couldn't have found a better time to have a bonfire when it's 100 degrees outside. This is unbearable. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids. Heat stroke is no joke. All right, so I'm a day late. Um, so the cow just got dropped off and she is a eight-year-old Jersey cow who is currently milking at the moment. And um, Meadow. her name is Meadow. So we'll see if we can't get a, a closer picture. And uh, she's already enjoying her new home. So we have some work to do. Uh, as far as penning up and stuff like that, but right now she's going to stay in this front little uh, clip of the yard. Uh, there's plenty of grass here for now. And then tomorrow we will, uh, or later today once it cools off, we'll, uh, we'll come up with a, you know, a, a, a pen for whatever. But so far she's doing good. She fit right in. Everybody's happy. And, uh, and of course, She's happy, so that's all that matters, right? All right, stand by. So we got the three musketeers. We got Bo, Chuck, and Hank checking her out. An old honeybee, she's down there hanging out with the other two little heifers. All right, so the afternoon thunderstorms just rolled through. So we figured, well, it's raining, we'll come inside and we will check this um, vacuum pump milker or whatever. Um, it, we bought it non-running. Uh, they basically said that this thing needs brushes and so forth. So we just plugged it in. Uh, the motor hums, but it appears that maybe something's locked up. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that in just a little bit, but uh, what do we what do we exactly have here? This is a surge milker. Is so it, it pulsates? Is this something that's 
Is this an antique? Uh, is this a modern day thing? They what? made this through this 70s or 80s. 70s or 80s, okay. From 1919 through there. 1919 through there, okay. But so this model wasn't made till after the war, the Model C. Okay, all right. So can you explain like how, how this vacuum pump actually works? This goes on the cow's teat. Okay. This hose is too short, would go here, and a small hose would go to the pulsator that goes to the vacuum pump. It goes, so you're saying that this piece comes to here, goes to there, and then what did you say this, that? This is a pulsator. A pulsator, okay. So the vacuum line would have another line that goes to here. So these hoses, they had changed this to where it wasn't a belly strap milker. Okay. Because that's what they were designed to do is to hang underneath the cow. It's a belt and it clip, hooks on. Okay. So and they that, would hang on her and then just go right up on her. Okay. And that's the method that we're, we're taking? We're going back to the... We're going back to the original setup. Okay. And then obviously these hoses... Yeah, um, these are old they, hoses. Okay. And we're getting new hoses or we're just going to... New hoses. Just these short black hoses. Oh. Just because... Okay. So because it is a belly... Um, so everything's sure. in, in pretty close range. The reason they probably did this is because this probably weighs, what, 15, 20 yeah. pounds? That's got some serious weight now to it. Now add two and a, three gallons of milk, three and a half gallons of milk in here. It could, can get quite heavy. So why wouldn't we just... Go back to this Why style? wouldn't we just go back to this style and have this sit... Um, what is it that we this got? This is a lot of hose to clean every day. Okay. All right. And it has to be sterile. So... Okay. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather clean a short hose in the container. Okay. All right. And then you said these... These... This is called a sleeve and this black inside is a, an inflator. So when it gets the suction, this rubber that's down in here, it sucks the air out of this chamber and it was, it's like you're milking the cow. So okay. it's pulsating like this, like you're hand milking. Okay. But these are too small for our cow, so. So what would they be used for? More of a goat or something? No, I'd say like a mini. A mini, okay. So we're not gonna get rid of them. We'll hang on to them because they're still good. The rubber is still pliable. So we'll hang on to those. Never hurts to have extra parts. So that and the fact that our cow is bred to a mini, so. So yeah, so we have, um, so we got an eight year old Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. And then um Jeez. all right so we got an eight-year-old jersey and she is possibly bred with a with a mini jersey i take mm -hmm. it okay all right so when we bought this we bought it with not knowing we were assuming that it didn't come with the pump and we had to order a pump correct yes all right so i plugged it in and it made a humming sound so Really, the first thing that I wanted to do was just take a screwdriver and see if the see if the shaft would spin, and uh, it's completely it's completely seized. So uh, we don't know we don't know if it's a bearing bearing over here or the actual pump. So I just ran out to the truck, got the toolbox, and uh, I think we'll just start taking some bolts off and see if we can't separate and figure out. You know, is it the pump that's bad, the bearing, or the motor? So, they said the windings were bad, but I don't think the windings are bad. It's seized up, so we're going to figure it out. Alright, so we removed this front pump cover. It was pretty simple. It had, uh, I don't know, five bolts holding that on. Removed these plugs. That popped right off. Then we got... And again, I don't know the terminology for these things, but... We're just winging it. I think this is like the pump body. It's pretty rusty over in there. Um, actually, I didn't want to ruin that gasket. So now, um, we just we just took the, the main bolts and nuts off, and we're getting ready to pull out the armature. Um, and then hopefully we can find out what seized up in there. What bearing, uh, if we can get a replacement bearing, we'll press it out and do whatever. Uh, we'll go from there, so stand by. Okay, so at this point, 
uh, we got the we got the motor freed up. All the bearings were good. The only thing I can think of is that these um, what do you call those? The brushes. Uh, one of them was stuck, and so I'm just wondering if that's what was um, causing it to, uh, to not move. So we're gonna get a rebuild kit. We're gonna get four new brushes. Um, we're gonna get. Uh, a new gasket for this backside. What wasn't here were uh, filter socks for both of these. So in the in the rebuild kit, they'll come with new filter socks. So for right now, I'm just going to put everything back together. Um, it's not that hard to take it apart. Um, so I'll put it all back together and I'll just fire it back up and see and see how it works um, if it does start. But we are going to order the rebuild kit and then get this thing back and going. So once we get it back, um, we'll get the new hoses um, for for the tank and we'll get the belly strap and stuff like that and we'll just we'll make another video and show you on that. So for now, uh, if you like what you see, hit the like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any other suggestions, leave in the comments below. Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch.